Is there something here? What are these supply caches? Um, okay. Maybe it's time to find Errand. Or Ovent. Yeah, okay. New quest. This is Ovent. Sent them straight to the gates of Baron Light. That is preposterous. Why would we let dangerous machines into our own land? You mean the land that honest Osram laborers work tirelessly with no say in its governance? The land that should you sign the decree? Oh, you and that damned concession decree would be managed by the people who actually Suppose live and work on that lazy brother of yours. <sighs> he does have a point, right? What do you want, Olbunt? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of use. Maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Beauty? Olfant Freehold, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. <laughs> ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Right, that one. To get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, let's get to it, hey? And off you go. Wow. What? What? What's that about a work stoppage? You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. And tell the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osirum lives. Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? It's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. Hmm. Appropriate. Who appointed you? If Chainscrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ah! The Magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then? People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chainscrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder. Oh. And its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. <laughs> we'll see about that. You were here founding Chainscrape. You said you founded Chainscrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in barren light shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chain Scrape is what it is thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, 
But my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. Hmm. Doesn't sound too bad if what he says is true, but I guess we'll see. Do you have beef with the Kaja? You don't seem to have a high opinion of the Magistrate. Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. Well, sounds like typical Karja behavior, to be honest. <laughs> Especially from magistrates, pencil pushers does seem right. But we'll see. And what are the what? What about the bristlebacks? Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town. But with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks, and when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. Hmm. Better see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. Tavern? Oh, why would he be in the tavern? <laughs> well, I guess um, we could go to the tavern. The Karja magistrate. Did he want something from me? There he is. Over here. Oi, refill. Savior, thank you for taking the time, and my condolences that you had to endure all Vun's bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn. It's it's completely absurd. Yeah, that's absurd. The longer and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. Hmm. The concession decree? What is this concession decree that Olvind wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess. Because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King. Right. And with the bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvunt has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. 
The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. But can't you, like, find a compromise or something? Your role? How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Ulvind blasting hot air all the time? Ulvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. Right. <sighs> well, I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. <laughs> For your own sanity. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, maybe Ulvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. Hmm. Okay. And no. Careful there. What is this? Oh. You I can buy potion from you, potions. When the walk stoppage has been halted, I guess. Shall we go try to find Aaron first? This is Aaron's last known location, but you're also saying the monsters came from the west. West of the quarry for bristlebacks, they came from there somehow. Maybe there's a cauldron somewhere producing these machines. Hmm. All right, let's do some side quests. I think we need some meat, right? So let us... Oops. So sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Um, let us go hunting. Oh, look at that. There's another flower. And what is this? Some medicinal stuff. When we came in, we saw some valuables inside these things. Oh yeah, look at that. Oops! Damn it. But I think I can go in from here, yeah. Green shine silver, what is that? It's green like blaze, but it's hard and shiny. All right. Would be interested. Oh, it's something to sell. You found a piece of green shine, a rare and valuable resource hidden all over the world. Green shine can be used for upgrading certain weapons and outfits or trading with specific merchants. Very cool. What is my medicine situation? I think I'm full. Yeah. Acid again. Was it? Like dead machines. I mean, are these... Someone fought these machines. The human people here or some other bigger machine how many rocks can i carry do i need that many rocks chain scrape
I'm not sure if I wanna fight them. But there is a there is a campfire. We've been there, right? Okay. Well Um I guess I'm already in the area. I just need to find some wild. Another flower. We can I actually pick it up or something. River bloom. Oh, I thought that this was one of those mechanical flowers that I can't open yet. No, it's just a regular flower. Ah, over there. Damn it. What, me? Oh god, stop calling for reinforcements. Oh no. Woo! Here we go. <laughs> I use up all of my arrows. Okay, where's the where's the boy? Yeah, it is. I think I heard another boy, but oh, it's a little bit too far away. I need to get two more boys. This is gonna take a while. But I guess on a positive note, I've cleared that area, this area, over there. So my, my focus can also detect animals. Oh. Scroll, a green stained scroll filled with hastily scrawled glyphs. These sun lickers and their scorched out diplomacy. Let's not fuss around the forge. It's a pretty word the Carter use for not stepping on Tenak's toes. Which they shouldn't. They have every reason to be afraid of those brutes. But I'm not Carter. I didn't try and invade the vest over and over again just because I felt like it. I have no use for these embassies. Another polite term for waving the white flag and saying please don't kill us. And now I'm stuck on this side of the wall too, because the Karja couldn't keep it in their sheath. Yeah sure, things are different now. Sun King Avad believes in peaceful dialogue. whoop de doo for you, but simple delvers, traders and tinkerers like, like me are sitting on our hands until the priests and marshals finish their little tea party, or whatever it is they do out there. Not to mention our brothers and sisters on the other side of the wall. How are they supposed to get help and supplies when the Gate is shut tight. How much longer do we have to cool our heels? I heard they've waiting they're waiting on some sun priests to arrive, but weren't those nitwits the root of the problem to begin with? They riled up the mad sun king to start the western invasion in the first place. Writing this was supposed to calm me down, but it's only blown up the bellows. The longer that gate stays closed, the more shards I lose. I've had it. I'm heading over to Baron Light. Someone's going to get a blast of hot air for all the good it'll do. Wait, this this one is a Tenax? No, 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 no. Those brutes referring to the Tenax. 
But this one is not a Kaja. I guess some of the some of the other nation people, tribe people under Kaja maybe. Very good, one more. Ah, there it is. I have now 14 rocks. 15. <laughs> there, that should be enough wild meat for Mildef. Mm, that's nice. There's a campfire. We've been there already. What about this dash of courage? What is this all about again? Oh. Oh. Um. Quests. The cook in chain scrape needs supplies and equipment to keep up with his customer's demands. Oh, he needs some scrounger metal, I think, to forge a pan or something. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll go there. I really wish I had a mount. Crown just side. Wait, do you mean the scrounger scrounger side we saw before? Someone's seeing me. Cover. Scroungers. Might have said I could find a metal panel in one of their scrap piles. Um, no. How do I switch to rock and then? Oh. Um, how do I exit? <laughs> Here we go. I could. Go up there, but why would I do that? <laughs> I feel it's such a bad idea to go up there. I don't have any place to dodge their attacks if they find me. Okay. It can see me, actually. Can it see me? It does not see me anymore. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, can I use... Oops. Shit. Can I use these? No. It's not an explosive or anything. Generous supply cash. I can't I can't do an air assassination or anything unfortunately Could try using acid ammo Weekends acid actually Maybe I should use my acid arrows Are you okay? It's going away. 
Let's go down again. Someone see me? Hello? Come on. No metal pedal. Better check another scrap pile. Oh no, I need to search all the scrap piles, I think. There are a lot of scrappers here. What about the general supply cache? Here we go. Ooh, that is nice. Maybe we should do this more often. Good, they're patrolling. Oh, what? No, 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 don't. I wanna... I want my rock back. Oh no, I used my acid trap. God damn it. Shit, this alerted all of them. Elemental canisters on machines with a matching arrow type to create a large elemental explosion. Okay. Okay, this one is suspicious, but yeah, it's okay. Uh oh! Damn it! for a metal panel. Okay, cool. This one? I think I have everything I need for Mildiv. Oh, cool. Good thing, too. I can use a decent meal. There are a lot... We still have a lot of resources. Oh, maybe I should heal myself and then get another... Um, medicinal plant. I love the new stash functionality. I can just put everything into my stash and next time when I'm at my stash I get the resources back. That's pretty cool. Maybe it makes it too easy. I don't know. Maybe... I don't know. Okay, I have everything I need. Let's just go to this campfire for now. And um, fast travel back. I don't want to spend a fast travel pack just yet. Oh wow. 
What is this? <laughs> what is the purpose of this thing? Looks like a huge torture device. Or a huge trap. Oh no, it's a it's a it's a walking machine. Machine to help people I don't know. Grab locks? A crane something. Maybe. Okay, let's fast travel. Back to what's the city called? Chain scrape, right. Okay. I can finally get the cook to cook for me. And I can buy some supplies, maybe. Ah, there you are. I happen to receive another visit from Olven himself. Oh. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. What did you say? When I made his meal. I used three pinches of salt. <laughs> what? Each journey begins with a single step, I guess. I think I have everything you asked for. Then just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. Well, I guess too much salt is bad for your body, so that's his way of kind of poisoning him or something. <laughs> Mildef, that was inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. And your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> oh. Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see you again. With four pinches of salt. <laughs> Back for that free meal? Go on, peruse my menu. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So this is what I use for fast travel, right? If I'm not at a campfire? No. No, this gives me health benefits. Interesting. It's like Legend of Zelda. I can just get anything for free. Very rare then. Mainly damaged by two levels for three minutes. Restore 75 health and 75% stamina. Stamina regen. Stamina regeneration. What is stamina again? <laughs> what is stamina? Recover weapon stamina faster. Huh. What is a trap limit? Place more traps and tripwire on the field at the same time. I didn't know I had a trap limit. Okay. Low health regen. Concentration regen. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could buy... Low health melee. Hmm. Melee damage by two levels, perhaps? Um, did, did I buy it? Oh. Buy. Oh, I need... I, I need components for this. River bloom leaf, wild beans, I see. You can't just buy everything with money. <laughs> That's a little bit inconvenient, but okay. Low health. I guess I can afford this one. Just 15 shards. I can only have two 
food items. Okay, cool. In total. Two in total. Alright, let's go find Aaron, shall we? Where's that big dummy? Food provides temporary benefits and skill boost. Smell Duff's meal has reduced the concentration recovery time. Bring ingredients to cooks throughout the world to purchase food. Only one food effect can be active at a time. Oh, because I ate something already. I have this. I already bought his stuff. Because I just ate, I had I have this effect. Oh, hello. You wanted to speak to me? Well, you know better than anyone it's a dangerous world out there. And not just against machines. Name's Odur. This here's my training pit. Best place to practice close combat this side of the Forbidden West. Say, I wonder who'd win in a fight. You, the savior of Meridian, champion of the East, or the Enduring, master of the West. Master? The Enduring. A legendary Tanakh fighter, the master of masters. I've heard the Tanakh have training pits just like this one. It's how the warriors get so fierce, see? And only the very best from the pits get to train with the Enduring. So to find the Enduring, I should look for these training pits if I'm ever out that way? You'll have to go far if you do. The Tanakh are split into three clans. Three clans, three capitals, Three training pits. Oh. Well, my guess is you'd have to beat all of them if you want to train with the Enduring. If the Tanakh don't kill you on sight, that is. But that's a far spark in the wind. As for right now, I also offer challenges to test your fighting skill. Who would I be fighting exactly? You? Well, I know you're the savior and all, but you have to beat all the others first to challenge me. Rules are rules. We only use dual blades and practice arrows, mind. These drunken fools would run themselves through otherwise. You'll have to leave everything but your spear and practice arrows at the gate. But I'll look after your gear, not to worry. All so, right. What do you say? Up for some training? <laughs> I might be. That's what I like to hear. I could use some training, for sure. Melee pits test your close quarter fighting skills against other human opponents. All right. Uh, uh oh challenges practice your melee skills oh, let's go directly to challenges shall we resonator blast oh defeat your opponent with a resonator blast i need to yeah i, I need to um i need to train my resonator blast i have no idea how this functions Performing melee combos and power attacks energizes your spear faster. So, how do I do Resonator Plus again? <laughs> Hold on. That's all for now. Let me know when you want to try some more training. Don't worry, I'll be back. Um, Resonator Blast. How do I do that? Strike an enemy with melee attacks. Fully charged, tap F to energize a target. Like a like a heart attack. Heavy attack, I mean. Okay, come on. Up for some training? Challenges, resonator blast, sure. Yes. Where do I see my build up? You think your spear can deal with that armor? Use attacks to energize your spear. Then hit your opponent with a heavy or power attack to blast the armor off. I'm hitting him. Where do I see my... Keep hitting your opponents with this and this. Combos with F energy Hasa. Use any war when my spear is fully... Is my spear fully energized? No. I have no idea how this functions! I got nothing to tell you. I mean, is this fully charged? Oh, now it's fully charged. It doesn't last forever. 
That spirit can give you the edge in battle. Oh, nice. Keep energizing it and then your enemies. Triggering those energy blasts should help you vanquish your opponents. I, I think I can see on my spear how much energy it has accumulated. Uh, let's replay this. It should be useful. Now I just need to find Aaron and help him clear the bristle. Bits. So currently my spear is at two levels, and it's still uh, purple. Almost ready to go. Okay, now. Oh no. First heavy attack. Energy doesn't last forever. And then here we that go. Can give you the edge in battle. Nice. Keep energizing it, and then your enemies. Triggering those energy blasts should help you vanquish your opponents. That's pretty fun. That is pretty fun. Block breaker. You need to learn block breaker in a skill tree to unlock this challenge. Okay. Block breaker. Freely practice. There's no timer. Ah, it's okay. Wait, I have a skill point, so let's check my skills already. Block breaker. This one. Immediately break an enemy's weapon guard and leave them vulnerable to a follow up attack. Tap tap heavy. Tap, tap, tap heavy. Oh, that's what I did unconsciously. <laughs> tap, tap, tap heavy. And this is tap, tap heavy. Okay, let's let's um, learn this one. I was hoping you'd be back. Okay. Tap, tap heavy. Almost ready to go. Ooh. Yeah. Tap. <laughs> Tap heavy. Oh, I don't have a. I do not have a thing. I do not have a bow. Tap. Tap. Tap heavy. Tap. Tap heavy. Nice. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Tap. Tap. Heavy. Keep blocking, then use a heavy attack or a power attack to break heavy. Through. Either that or hit them from behind. Tap. Heavy. Tap. 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 Heavy. Nice. Gotta keep going. Sorry. Tap. Tap. Ooh. Wow. Tap. I didn't do it. Try again. What? Wait. <laughs> oh, I ran out of time, right? We try, okay. Wait. Tap. Tap. Heavy. Tap. Tap. Heavy. If you keep repeating the same attacks, your enemy will dodge them. Then what do I do? Vary your attacks and combinations. Make yourself less predictable. Come on. If your opponent keeps blocking, then use a heavy attack or a power attack to break through. Either that or hit them from behind. Okay, I have to use other attacks as well. You have to clarify that. Oh. Okay. Someone interacting the part part How goes it, Hammerhead? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That didn't do it. Try again. Damn it, I ran out of time. Uh, okay. Wait, I need to whittle down his health first with attacks. And then do a finisher with the block breaker, is that it? Ouch. Come on. If your opponent is blocking, then use a heavy attack or a power attack to break through. 
Either that or hits him from behind. Ooh, he's good. Now I've seen everything. How goes it? Close attention to your opponent's stance. Read their intentions. Choose your attacks to break their defense. Okay, I, I didn't need to finish him with a block breaker. Okay, cool. Pitmaster challenge. Okay, cool. Put your melee skills to the test to defeat Odork. Odork's strong and direct awesome and fighting style is highly effective. With a focus on dodging and or blocking attacks, he has beaten the best brawlers the Dawn has to offer. You will only use a spear and training bows. Okay, but I have a time limit, that's the problem. And if I don't defeat him inside the time limit, it means he has won. Which is completely unfair! But I guess it's also unfair that I have no health bar. Oh, this is not good, yeah. Come on! Good series of attacks! An impressive attack! Yeah! Ooh! Oh! Okay! Good series of attacks! Good! Good! You fight well! Good! Good. Good series of attacks. Oh, shit! You fight well. I see how you no. earn your reputation. Nice. I'm ready to fight hand to hand when you are. Yeah. Impressive. Yeah. Yield. I, I yield. Oh, that was close. Well fought, friend. Well fought. Are you okay? Yeah. Ooh. Serves me right for thinking I could go up against the savior of Meridian. Here, have this. A little something for the new champion. Thank you, Hodurk. Don't be a stranger now. Come back whenever you'd like to spar again. That was fun. Also, I hope I don't have to uh, do melee attacks too much. See you later, Odurk. Farewell then. Are we going to Erend now? <laughs> I am. I want to meet with Erend. Come on, Erend. Talk to the pitmaster. Not again. Um. Hmm. Wait, is this a new new quest? I need to earn all Tanakh's melee pit marks. Yeah, here we go. Aaron's last known location. You always look so grumpy. Ooh, heavy machinery. Your spear can knock off machine armor using. Hmm, try hit on the training dummies. Machine armor, so regular armor actually. Knock down small machines with enough heavy attacks or a power attack. Right. That is nice. I love the combat. Okay, but enough play. What is that red thing? That is interesting. Ruins. Aaron was supposed to take care of the hostile machines around here, right? Oh. Is 
that a tripwire? Whole area's rigged with them. Is that errant? Hold yeah. tight! I'll see what I can do! What did he want? <laughs> Dismantle? Would I like to... Is that you, Errant? No, it's Turles. <sighs> okay. He needs help, I gather. Ooh. What was that? Machines weak against frost. Weak against frost. Thank you, Eloy, for saying that. I guess I can use. I mean, I would like to take them out stealthily if that's possible. What is. Pot stomp? Oh, that's food! Okay. So this will trip the... It will trip the... Trip on the wire. And then I can go in, make a sneak attack. Spotted. Nope. Gotta move. Okay, what do you think? They're not... They're not vulnerable against thunder damage. So that's that. Oh, shoot. I wish I could whistle. Why did they remove the feature? I guess that was too OP. You can salvage your trip wires. <laughs> what happens if I dismantle them? He doesn't say anything. Okay. One last one left. I think when they get to the trip wire, they can't move for a bit. Oops. Rock, please. Me red. Thank the forge you showed up. Tripwire's handy, but she hunts a youngin's game. Come on over. Let me give thanks proper, like. Oh, how old are you? Uh, hold on, let me let me get this one. Okay, cool. Hi. I see you're a practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than. Vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Took down that bristleback, headed south. But then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. South, after more bristlebacks? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. 
The Vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the Daunt, you're gonna want a Tripcaster. Not just any Tripcaster. One of mine make, free of charge. Oh? Is there any looks solid enough? trick? Yep. Been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, well, accidents. And you just give them out for free, is that it? What happened to my old Tripcaster? Accidents in Chain Scrape? Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> More like someone. Let me guess. Olvind. Back when I had a place in town, he took a real interest in my wares. He kept pressing for the Olven discount. I said no. He didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that chuff bucket set my workshop on fire. What? Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. That's insane. If that's really true, it's insane. The bristlebacks? Cable car operator told me the bristlebacks just appeared yesterday. Do you know anything about them? How is old Karn? Back in the day, me and him got into all sorts of trouble. There was this one time that- Anything about the bristlebacks? <laughs> no. Karn said true. I just showed up and ran amok. Lucky for me, I've got you and the Vanguard swooping in time to time to save my backside. I guess they're not as easy to kill as the Scrappers. <laughs> one hit stealth kill. It's probably not for them. I need to go. I should get going. Thanks for the trip, Caster. While you're blasting bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a trip, Caster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. So Aaron headed south. I should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. Mm, tell why I mean to set up the first anchor point, then aim and fire again to place the second. There's a limit to how many tripwires can be placed at once. Yes. Wait, what? Be careful not to run into your own tripwires? Wait, that was not a concern in the first game at all. Are you seeing I need to actually pay attention now? Enemies that trigger the tripwire will receive shock damage as well as a shock buildup indicated by an icon above them. When the build-up icon is full, enemies will become shocked for a limited time. Enemies cannot move while in the shocked state and are vulnerable to critical strike melee attacks. Oh, cool. Wait, wait, wait. Do I wanna try this out? Okay! I don't like this at all. Okay, it only gave me like six damage, but... Damn! Why did they make it like that? I mean, it makes sense <laughs> for sure. I think it's it's much more interesting if I get also if I also get damage. But I'm just used to not. I, I'm I'm used to tripwise not affect. Um. Not affecting me. Because of last last game. Hey, dude, you don't mind if I just help myself to all your valuables? Thank you. Your life savings or stuff. Much appreciated. <laughs> I can't believe he just gave me a tripwire for free. What was that? Can't believe he just gave me a tripwire tripcaster for free. Okay, south. Where is south? This way south. <laughs> Lovely. There's tracks headed up the hill. The errands? Let's see where this leads. What's the commotion? Oh, that is that is a bristle back. It'll be slow going if I use acid on it. It's an acid bristle back. Oh my god, I think someone needs my help. 